Greetings, humans and earthlings and any animals in the animal kingdom who might be in love with the melodious sound of my fabulous voice and tuning in. Welcome to the Roseanne Barr podcast. We've got a bu- 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 banger going on today with Ziggy Flicker. Ziggy. That's okay. Ziggy. The president calls me Ziggy too. It's, it's okay. Ziggy. It's okay. Ziggy Flicker. So you see. Oh my God, we can't stop. We can't stop ourselves. We're like a magnet, two halves of a magnet that just hit. Somebody held them like this and they went, and And I'm so glad because I knew you were the only person beside that is like to me that will say, understands, that's it understands what the hell's going on in this country yes right nobody does nobody gets it they're walking around like zombies you know after um you know you, you realize now i was gonna say after october 7th but way before that 2016 I, I i started realizing that people are really stupid yeah no i'm not even saying it to be mean like uneducated you have no idea you'll know what Nicki minaj is wearing but you won't know what the constitution or the bill of rights are you don't know what judeo-christian values are you don't understand that you're being infiltrated from within and you are walking around voting for this for satan for 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 evil to ruin your your life your you children feel, how about your pets what do they do to pets in communism what do the radicals do to gays they throw them off buildings mm-hmm. what, what, what we're being run right now this country is going to be turning into europe Jihad is here, mm-hmm. and according to my friend Tom Holman, the former director of ICE under six presidents, 400,000 jihadis are already on American soil. Yikes. And what, what's everybody worrying about? Abortion. Don't worry, people. There's always going to be a state where you can go and abort your child, but you're not going to be around for abortion because you're going to be put in an oven. You're going to be <laughs> slaughtered. You're going to be killed. I mean, come on, people. Wake up. Have you ever read their playbook? Read their playbook. But they love them. They love. But they're in love with them now. Now they love them even more. The more horrible things they do to Jews, the more they love them. That's why. Because as soon as they do something bad to Jews, they're in love. They're like, oh, God, thank God. Now we don't have to give Israel any money. Right. By the way. They killed a bunch of them in a horrible way. Oh, good. Good, good for them. Now we don't have to give them any of our right, money. Right. What? What? what What's what, the crazy? It's the Satan's got a hold of the Americans' brain. Not only, yeah, it's it's it was in the water. Something. They, they, something happened where people's the smart side of their brain just turned off. And by the way, just so your viewers know, what Israel is doing is imperative for the whole world. Every country needs to start doing exactly what Israel is doing because every country is being infiltrated by jihad. You see, their playbook is to infiltrate, dominate, populate, and never assimilate. And they're not afraid of you. No. While they're having 11, 12 kids and you're having your one, um, they're, they're, they've got all the time in the world. They do not want to assimilate. They want to do what they want to do and they want everybody, everybody to be under Sharia law. And, you know, their prophet Muhammad. I mean, let's go back to that. Nine wives, seven wives, 11 wives. One of them was as young as nine. When you read the playbook, you will understand that these people mean business and they count on the stupidity of the rest of the world. Well, also, they they also know how to exploit people's tolerance because mm-hmm. people walk around, oh, we're so tolerant. Right. But they tolerate evil. They tolerate the worst things you can tolerate and let them go, but punish anything that is at all, uh, you know, censoring of the most intolerant thing on the right. on the okay. earth. Mm-hmm. There, there's a there's it's black and white. We all want to love and to be loved. I was a matchmaker for years. All I wanted to do was put people together, and I did many couples and make them have babies. And God, it's a mitzvah, Shema Israel, Toda Raba. It's, uh, it's amazing. Everything, but when the devil is knocking on your door and he's saying you don't have a right to exist and I'm coming to kill you, you can't be like, well, why don't you come in for a cup of coffee well, and let's a biscuit? Discuss this. It's now. Wait, you want to kill me? Now, why would that be? Right, right. <laughs> but, and and not only he's going to sit and talk to and, you. And, and you know what I say, Roseanne? This is not the world has a problem. 
And it's not a Jewish one. No, it's not a Jewish problem. So no one talks about the Christian Arabs that are being persecuted mm-hmm. in the Middle East, the churches that are being burned down. What Israel is doing today by getting rid of Hamas and Hezbollah is going to save the world. They're saying we will not tolerate radicals. We will not tolerate these radical st- extremists. Now, my good friend Brigitte Gabriel, who I happen to love, says no, to me. No, I love her too. There's 2 billion Muslims in the world. Most of them are peaceful, beautiful, Mm -hmm. wonderful people. You take 25%, which according to all agencies, 25% is radicalized. You got a population that's bigger than the size of America, which is why this is so dangerous. Every country now is suffering because our good hearts wanted to let in these immigrants. The immigrants today are not the immigrants of, I'm an immigrant, I had to come to this country and show my vaccinations and my this and what my father was doing, what my mother was doing. We came here, we busted our ass, we worked, we walked a straight line. We became successful because guess what? The Jewish mind. The Jewish mind doesn't hate, the Jewish mind creates. We weren't born to take from the left or the right. We were born to walk a straight line, go, educate, education, education. But what did America do? America now said, we don't care about education because Qatar is funding all our universities. Mm -hmm. Iran has a hand in our universities. Mm -hmm. Our former president, Barack Hussein Hussein Obama, Obama. gave $6 billion to Iran. Now, do you think that Iran was taking that $6 billion and buying chip sauce and guacamole for everybody to have a party? No, they're funding Hamas. They were, they were feeding the tentacles. Mm-hmm. Where the you know te- what gets me? You're so smart. But you, that was what my tweet that got me fired by people who love the Muslim Brotherhood, by the way, uh, and are in bed with Obama. Well, it, that's what my tweet was about. Right. The Iranian, the whole thing about Iran being an existential threat to correct. Jews you were, in the Middle East. You were 100% correct. Proven I correct. was. And October 7th was the horrible truth of correct. it. And... Uh, Still, America doesn't see it. Still, America doesn't see, won't see anything that Obama does, won't see anything past his skin color because the Democrats are so incredibly racist that all they see is skin color. It's okay. They don't see content of character. They They see none of it. None of it. They have a fetish for his skin color. Right, because they all thought that he was a... A handsome, because he is a handsome black American, but I he's think not. he looks like Alfred E. Newman from the Mad <laughs> let's, Magazine. Let's he be is careful. not handsome. <laughs> no, no, no. But, but what? For let's me, be careful comparing. I thought that he was an eloquent looks. speaker. I got in enough he trouble. Was, right. I, thought I he, never <laughs> liked him because he's always I, trying listen, to be funny. Ne- right. He always tried to be a stand-up comic. I'm a stand-up comic. But he's, I don't like politicians that try to time out a joke the way I saw him try to time out a joke. he's the great manipulator. He'd be up there and you, he goes like this. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And in his mind, I can see him go, one, two, three, blah, 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 blah. Well, right. that ain't how you time no. out a joke. No, you're absolutely right. But the American people fell in love with him. They wanted change at that time. Yeah. They didn't understand that this man um, is, he is Muslim Brotherhood. Mm-hmm. He's the head of it. Of course he is. Who he do you hates you think Biden? Every day he gets up and goes, how can I destroy I Israel know. faster? Right. And guess what? Israel doesn't care what you think of her. her. Israel is going to keep on defending herself. Everybody wants a ceasefire. Shut but the aren't front there door. Too many, I want a ceasefire. Give many, me back my people. Yes. Maybe. Ceasefire aren't my there ass. too many Obama lovers in Tel Aviv, and that's a whole problem well, over listen, there? Well, listen, leftists are the problem for the entire world. For the world, you. yeah. That's so you can't have a about. clean Israel. When people say, oh, I don't like it, you might not like the government. I don't like the government of America. The current administration yeah. is not mine. My president is Donald John Trump. Right. I don't listen to this current administration. That's why... It was mind-boggling that people, like, well, the government wouldn't lie to you. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Like, somebody needs to go, hello, is there anybody in there? You're following orders from a man who can't spell Bob backwards. He trips over himself. He doesn't know where he is. He wears diaper. This is, it's a discussion what's happening in America today. But it's, it's actually exciting, and I'm going to tell you why. Because we have seven more months of hell. <laughs> and there is nothing that these mentally ill people can do to stop Donald John Trump for taking back the White House. He won in 2016, he won in 2020, and he's winning in a landslide in 2024. Nothing can stop it. Hashem, nothing can stop it. You can't rewrite, you gotta vote Bible. 
I have so many people coming to me, you know, I don't like the way he speaks. I don't like his delivery. I'm like, shut up. You don't like his delivery. He's what funny. He, what was he hired to be your friend? Speaking yeah, no, of he's... telling I'm a, a joke. I'm a burger with him. Shut up. Leave him alone. No, he can tell a joke. He's not sitting there. Okay, one, two, three, three. But um, right. he can tell a joke. He can make anything funny. But he um, is a more comedian. More importantly, he's going to make Judeo-Christian values great again. Yeah. There was no better friend to Israel. But let's go True. to your viewers who do not like Jews in Israel. Fine. I'm fine with it. You don't have to like you don't, I not, think we were saying we think MAGA is starting to turn on Israel. They are. You know what? Listen to me. MAGA is going woke. Okay. Over but, Israel. But, but MAGA, MAGA is is uh, is majority of MAGA are Christians, and if yeah. you're a Christian, you can't turn on Israel. No. It's not making sense. It's like me saying I'm allergic to yeast and having bread in the morning. Israel is where Jesus was born. Palestine is another name for Israel. Israel was conquered 44 times. Syria, Palestina, is just another name that the Syrians, once they conquered it, it used to be called Judeo, Samaria. It used to be called um, Syria, Palestina. They gave it 100 names. Israel's Israel. The Jews have been part of that land for 3,000 years. That's why the Palestinian Museum, you walk in there, you walk in the front door, you walk out the back door. It's just white walls. There is no history there, okay? The two million Arabs that are living in Israel love living in Israel because mm -hmm. they have rights. Right. Gays have rights. Women have rights. Arabs serve in the Knesset. The reason why Gaga, Gaza, Gaga, Gaza, is, it, it's so sad is because the Gazan people never had a chance. No, they never did. They never had a chance mm -mm. because Hamas doesn't care about the people of Gaza. Mm -mm. Qatar gives all the money to all the Hamas. The people are are starving. And then when you have a program called Pay for Slay, Roseanne. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So if I have I 11 kids and I can't feed them, and somebody says, hey, but there's a program. You kill a Jew and you get $3,000 a month. For life. I might have to say, you know what? I got to feed 11 kids. Yeah. I'm going to go out there and look for a Jew today. They are taught to hate. Their books in school are Jews. Kill a Jew. Your life is horrible because of a Jew. Mm -hmm. Jews are dogs. I don't care whether you like Israel, you like me. I don't care if your viewers are MAGA and they don't like Israel and they don't like the Jewish people. What do I care? I'm the proudest Jew in the world and I think Israel is, oh my God, America's, America needs Israel as much as Israel needs America. Yeah, There's no other exactly democracy right. in the Middle East. Mm -mm. What are you talking about? Yeah. There's no other democracy. So when you say, oh, I hate Israel, I'm like, that's okay. Let's not get upset about it. There's some people in MAGA that are going woke that are, being brainwashed to think that the Mossad, that the 0.2% of the world's population, we 15 million Jews, we're running the world. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. If your toilet's not working, blame it on a Jew. Yeah. I mean, it's so ridiculous. They sound so stupid. And at the end of the day, they want to join? They want to join the radical left? Guess what? There's a term in in, in with jihad called takia you know takia, what i do know about oh, I, you're so smart i love well that's you. their whole thing is like lie about the jews and kill jews those no, no, are their lie two about rules. the jews and kill lie about jews. the jews and kill jews those kill are their jews, two laws. kill christians yeah. well i count christians as jews because okay, well, they're so okay. close with us but they, they might not and like so, that they won't like that. Wait, well, well you, they will they, like they, it if they're christians because letter. that's their Jesus is a Jew, right. so they have to like that. But, but those are the smart Christians, but the yeah. ones in MAGA that you were talking about are going woke. My message to them is, listen, God bless you. Jews and Christians, we have to unite. Yeah. We do. We are the last guardians of Western civilization. Yes. That's if right. you have children or grandchildren, if you have pets, if you have a gay brother and sister, you got to vote MAGA. You don't have a choice because it's coming to your door. And you got to support Israel. Listen to me. Yeah. Uh, listen, when, if somebody says to me, I don't want to support Israel, I'm not really bothered by it. I'm yeah. going to tell you why. Why? Maybe Israel in night seat. Okay, let me give you history. I was born I during... I mean, Israel is like going right. to Colorado. Going over there is like going yeah, it's a to Western the United country. States. Anybody yeah. who goes to Israel yeah. is in love with Israel. Of course. People who don't like Israel have never been to Israel. Right. 100%. They don't understand it. I right. send people to gay pride in Israel. Mm -hmm. I send them... I take my Christian brothers and sisters to Israel, yeah. the Greco family. We went to everywhere Jesus walked. We mm. went to the Church of Annunciation, I his tomb. I did all that too. It's it cool. was, it chills. Yeah. My of favorite course. place is, is Italy. 
Yeah. I said, forget it. Jesus never walked. Ravello, Positano, Manore, Majore, Apulia. We're going to Israel. They had the best time in Israel. But what you need to understand is I was born during the Six-Day War. Maybe back then, and I want you to listen to me, in 1948, Israel didn't have an army. Right. UN Resolution 181 gave us a state, right? They mm -hmm. finally declared Israel, mm -hmm. which was horrors for 3,000 years. Okay, for all you people who have a problem with Israel existing, go to the United Nations and ask them about... Read up on it. Uh, I, I, resolution 181, okay? Get educated. Now, 1948, we didn't have much of an army. How did we beat seven, seven armies that were coming to us with three airplanes? In 67, when I was born, three of the toughest Middle Eastern armies came out. Uh, three mm -hmm. countries came at us. How did we annihilate them in six days? Oh. In 73, while we were davening in Yom Kippur, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Lohino, Adonai Echad, they had surprise attacked us. Mm -hmm. They how always we, get us on our holidays. How did, we, how did we win? Yeah. We always win in the end. My point is, back then, Roseanne, we needed America. Mm -hmm. The IDF in Israel is so powerful today. Would we love, do we love America? America's the greatest country in the world. My dream is to bring Bibi and Trump together. My dream is for America and Israel to always be together. But at the end of the day, don't ever kid yourself. Israel is standing on its own two feet. No, I know that. no one is taking our land away from us. Mm -mm. And guess what? To all you Jews out there, especially the liberal Jews. Oh, yeah, we got to talk about that. I'd rather be in a grave Are they Gandhi. Jews at no, this point? I don't even oh, know if they are Jews. I would rather be sitting with Osama bin Laden's uh, 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 white sheet than with a liberal Jew. But anyway, <laughs> for your liberal Jews out there, it don't matter. It don't matter what you say. Mm -mm. You're dead. Nobody if you don't vote for MAGA. That's it. Yeah, that is it. You think this country is headed? You're going to kid yourself every day and say, I didn't like this man's delivery. <gasps> Ziggy, you're a woman. He said, grab him by the pee. Am I allowed to say? Yeah, you can say course. pussy. Oh, of course. grab him by the pussy. Oh, my God. I said, don't worry. He's not coming after yours. And by the way, you voted fight twice for a man that stuck a cigar in a pussy. Bill Clinton. Yeah. I did not have sexual relationships with that woman. He's a... You voted twice for a liar. You leave my president alone. I've never, ever been in the company. And I'm, I'm, I'm very proud to be friends with him and, and the greatest first lady. He's more of a friend to Israel than any other president. Yeah, he is. He I think that's the what they don't like about him. He had the balls to do what no one else did. Yeah, he moved the... And on top of it, people don't understand. His daughter is a Jew. Mm -hmm. I know. And oh. I know. His grandkids are Jews. A Jewish. Okay, He's, can I, can I? Yes. So that's why they call him a Nazi. Yeah. This is what they do. Of course. It's anti-Semitism. It's, it's Holocaust stupid. inversion, which is one step past Holocaust denial. Right. Well, you know, they love to say that too. Well, how come your people knowing, you know, right. how I grew up in my right. history right. and yours? Well, how come y'all are the Nazis now? Well, you dirty bastard, yeah. you're going down. Yeah. You're lucky I've had three or four glasses of wine and right. can't see straight to knock your head <laughs> off. <laughs> you know? No, but I don't I wouldn't worry about it. Can I say one thing? I don't Can, really. I say people say to me, You're 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 Always a dirty like Jew. I'm like, I take five baths a day. I don't even know what you're talking about. It goes in one year after the other. I wash my keys. I, uh, my, I'm so obsessive. I'm always. I'm like, it, it, my <laughs> house looks like a museum. You could call me every name in the book. You know what the Jewsy? I'm sorry, Jake, because I no, know you have fine. something to say. But it's good. It's always here. like this for me. No, I but I'm just saying to get a word what in. the Jews have brought to societies, to neighborhoods, to the world is beyond. Forget about the Nobel Peace Prizes. If you're using a phone, the Jew created it. If yeah. you have a scan disk, the Jew created it. What are you going to do? You're going to like abandon everything that the Jews did. If you're at the Not hospital. Not to mention cream cheese. That alone. <laughs> that, al <laughs> that alone is something. <laughs> that alone. But I'm you're just welcome. Saying, you're in the hospital. The machine that, 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 that you're using is, is created by Israel. They, they created a pill smaller than the size of Advil that you swallow. It takes a picture of your stomach. They ended world hunger with Netafim. It's, a, it's just a hose that has water in it. So that instead of the water going everywhere and wasting it, it goes right to the root of the tree and people are not starving in the world. I mean, they created robotics for power. Play. The, the stuff that's, that's come out of I, Israel. That's why I don't worry because I know that Israel invented rods from God, so there's no need for war Nahon. anymore. They made war Nahon obsolete. It's a weapon that kills buildings and leaves people alive. Only a Jewish Nahon. mind could Only have invented that. Only a Jewish mind could do that. Because, he care, because we care about human life, right. unlike our opponents. Exactly. So now imagine, God gives us Israel. No oil. The Arabs have 
Well, how many countries? 54. I just 56. put it up there. Whatever. They have, they have countries with oil on them, right? That's why we have why? a 57 country solution. 58 <laughs> state solution. That's what we have now. Israel and 57 Arab right. countries. Yeah. And why That's aren't fair. they happy in their countries? Why are they constantly leaving their radical rule to go somewhere else? Because why? I think that the fact that, that, that Israel exists, that they consider that to be an insult to Islam, that it exists. They're colonizers, you're, too. You're good, but, but not only that. What? Their playbook calls for world dom yeah. domination. Yeah. Let me repeat right. this. World submission. Israel is a canary in the coal mine. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. It has nothing. What Israel's created since UN Resolution 181 is unbelievable. What what has Gaza created except for tunnels and terror and 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 radical and rapist and d disgusting Hamas? What they what they did on October seventh. If anybody out there can go see the forty seven minute video and then tell me, yeah, I, none of it happened with putting a baby in the oven. They're disgusting on the highest level. It's disgustia. It is disgusting. There will be no ceasefire. I want every single one of my people back on my land and nothing is going to stop Israel. So let's take Israel's side. God gives us this land. We make it into, I mean, anybody who goes to Israel, they want to live there. It's yeah. gorgeous. It's spiritual. It's wonderful. Why are the Arabs so miserable? Why are they so miserable? Why do they have to go to London and Switzerland and Finland and all the countries that do not practice Sharia law? Why are they? Why do they want to be here? Because why? they're tired of living under feudalist. Uh -huh. feudalist. And then they come here, they try to yeah. change it to what they hated. Yeah. yeah. Just it's, like liberals when they leave blue states. Because you. it's Arab states. expansionist it's imperialism. Yes. Am I right? You're right. Arab it's insanity. It's insanity. Repeating. They think they're right. Same. They think everybody but them has no right to even live. Right. They're imperialists, and they're like the uh, colonial Jews for living in their own country. And that's about this big. Right. And then they say, "Oh no, you can't even go a mile out to have your population expand. You all have to live in that state, that ghetto, right. that ghetto state." You can have like eight or ten generations, but you can't expand the land mass you're allowed in your own country that you've had for 3,000 years because you're colonizers. Right. Right. Oh, my God. And we have our is, dome. It's, it's we have our this dome built on top of your temple because yeah. you're a colonizer. Right. Right. Not why. only that, we have I'm so the sick Israeli of it. Arabs are the happiest people in the world. No, and they're wait, lovely wait, wait, Watch people. this. Your viewers are going to... They're gonna, it's gonna blow their mind. Well, Ma, uh, uh -huh. it's time to talk about one of your, f the, f the, f the fountain of youth, the secret product that, and a few others. Field of greens. You know what I, th I just had the idea. I bet if I put this, mix it in with my sh Chardonnay, it's gonna make me gorgeous and feeling great. Can we see it? Do you see my Chardonnay? It? I'm gonna do this here. Two, two. <laughs> Two mints in one. Do you mix it in or do you do a shot of the powder and a shot of the wine? Well, I haven't done it yet. Well, let's I'm see. Because I'm still doing the water, huh? Sorry. I wanted I'm to still see. doing this with water. But I promise you, you're going to love this product, right? But if for any reason you don't, you get a 100% money back guarantee. Right. You can't beat that. Even if you're a complaining old bitch and nothing makes you happy. <laughs> there you go. You're covered. Absolutely. You want more energy throughout the day. You want to sleep better through the night. You want to look younger, healthier. This is whole. Six whole fruits and vegetables pulverized. Nothing added. It's just good nutrition in bite-sized doses. That's right. I'm the Rihanna of old people. Yeah. Because look how fresh and nice I look. Because I do this, but I do it with water. I don't do it with wine. But I think I'm going to try it with wine. It'll probably taste horrible, but I, I should just try it. Uh, anyways, I got you 15% off of your first order plus free rush shipping. So visit fieldofgreens.com and use the promo code RB. Roseanne Bar. That's promo code RB at fieldofgreens.com. Fieldofgreens.com. Well, Mom, we got a new sponsor. This one is very near and dear to both of our hearts for different reasons. Mm -hmm. It's life insurance. Me, because I looked to inherit a lot of money if I do the right policy, but mm -hmm. you have a whole different reason. Well, because I love the ID channel where everybody's killing their spouse, but they're taken out first. They, they get caught because they find out they first took out an insurance policy. Yeah. That's how they get caught for murder. But I don't know. But I hope you don't do it. 
but some of you might uh, <laughs> use Policy Genius, and you can get life insurance policies that start at just two ninety two. Uh, $292 per year, and you get a million dollars worth of coverage. That's crazy. Some options offer same day approval and avoid unnecessary medical exam. $292 a year, not $292 a month. Oh, $292 a year? For a million dollar policy. Oh, yeah, wow, that's, that's a amazing. Good deal, right? Does the ID channel know about this? I don't know <laughs> if this should get out. A lot of these women that are taking the uh, insurance policy out on their husband then start giving them glycoat ribonucleic acid the <laughs> antifreeze in his orange juice to collect but they always get caught well again it's not just for murdering your husband or seeking an inheritance when you kill your mom. I mean, when you have an accident. Oh. It's also people get life insurance to protect their family. That's, well, that, that's that are not true. nefarious. So there are people who actually care about life and real humans. Yeah, and it just so they should good. check out life insurance and check that off their list in no time with Policy Genius. Yeah. They should go to policygenius.com or click the link in the description to get your free life insurance quotes and see how much you could save. That's policygenius.com. Do not kill your spouse nor your mother. Uh, you got to go to policygenius.com and uh, talk to them about insurance. Because for as little as $292 per year, seriously, you can get uh, up to a, a million dollars of uh, life insurance, which is really good for people who have to protect their families in case of something horrible, God forbid, would happen. Israeli Arabs serve in the IDF. Mm -hmm. I know. Now, let's just sit on that. In the parliament. Watch this. They serve in the IDF because they love their country mm -hmm. because they're free. Because what? they have Don't civil you rights. Guys they understand? have civil rights. As opposed to the Juden Rhine, 57 I Arab states that have no Jews. They want their Jews back just like Europe wants their Jews back. Now, Europe's begging for their Jews back. No. Bad. So so is uh, Europe has a so big Russia. problem. You Russia's gotta... begging for their Jews back right. too, but they're not going to get them. No, and neither are them. Fifty-seven no. Juden Rhine Arab states they ain't getting their Jews back either. No. Sorry guys, you fucked up. Nope. And now you know you keep coming. You're you got a real big surprise in the form of rods from God going to come and you're going to lose a lot of buildings. But you know what? You're not going to lose people, and that's why I know they're lying. I know yeah. they're lying but because they're they moved lying. the people out. I know, but you don't understand. Even uh, the idea I mean, it's just a blood libel after blood libel after blood libel. Have well, you can ever... we talk about, can yes. we, uh, you guys, you're okay, interrupting. Let's you're let... interrupting Mom. Okay, I'm sorry, Jay. No, no, it's fine. Go, Jay. No, just one minute One at a time. One minute. No, not me. You're in, you're interrupting yes. Siggy a little bit. Just... No, I'm not. No, she's not. Uh, well. Okay. I'll I'm obsessed. No. no. It doesn't um, matter. The point is. Have you, wait. I want to talk about Jexit. Yes. I want to be a little bit more clear and concise on what that movement is because okay. a lot of our followers don't know what Jexit is. Okay, I okay. think it's extremely important. That's one thing. Okay. Two, one thing I always talk about on the show when we're talking about uh, Muslim expansionism is there's this great line. I forget who said it. Maybe it was Nietzsche or something. But he said, if you ever want to know who's in control, look at who you can't make fun of. And right we're now around the world, wow. we're criticized. Thank you. So you can talk about Jews in Israel all day long, civilian casualties. Nobody's talking about Muslim or Arab expansion. There is one to two billion of them, like she said, 52 states. Right. Why is that message being missed to MAGA That's and the I love that. Thank okay, you. okay. So let's start. Let's yeah. start off with talking about this. If you want to know who's in control, mm -hmm. Jake, go look at who you can't make fun of. Right. Why am I being shadow banned and silenced, losing followers, losing likes? I'm not allowed to comment. I'm not allowed to do this. I'm in jail all the time. Me too. Yeah. But guess what? I wake up smiling every day. We're on the right side of history. I don't give a rat's ass what the other side thinks. I do too. Right. I love it. I My life too. is, oh, Elohim, <laughs> toda. I wake up every day and I say toda. And, you know, like you, I, I was on a reality TV. I had my own matchmaking show. I was on um, Housewives of New Jersey. I mean, could you imagine people actually want to do that show? <laughs> Filming with five people that you would never hang out with on any given day. And you're forced to be with them for five months, eight hours a day. And people are like, well, why'd you leave? I'm like, uh, hello. Um, <laughs> I, I actually love my life. Yeah. I, I, I don't like to be told who I have to hang out with. And feel, like, like, people worship reality stars, right? Mm -hmm. They worship reality stars. Think about that. In America, they know more about reality stars than the history of America. Mm -hmm. So when I got off of TV, I was looking for what is going to fulfill me. And that's when I found the best organization, Jexit. 
Now, for the people who don't know what Jugxit is, it stands for Jews who have exited the Democrat Party. Yeah, it's excellent. And I was a lifelong Democrat. So was I. So, so was, was I. Yeah. 2016, I voted for a Republican for the first time by the name of Donald Trump. Mm-hmm. And then you know what? The liberal entertainment industry did not like that I was a proud supporter of President Trump. No, they don't like that. And they came at me every which way. And I said, come at me. I don't care. Her too. That's you could do, You can't take away the soul and the passion. You could say horrible things about me. You could say I don't like her, Ziggy, Squiggy, whatever you want to call me, Soggy. They called me Soggy because I cried. They didn't realize I cried every day because I couldn't wait to get the hell out of there. It was just like torture. I'm like, oh, my God, I just want to go to the mall by myself. I just want to, where's my husband? Where are my kids? What am I doing here Mm -hmm. with people? Everybody's just repeating, and you're in an environment where it's, everything is about being toxic and how do it. Yeah, it is. Bravo. And people, like, sign up for this. Yeah. And if they found out what the salaries were, that's even more embarrassing. But yeah, my hair extensions cost more. Mm. But I'm just saying, Jexit was a way for me to really go out there and educate. The liberal Jews are saying, listen, guys, I used to be a You're voting for your own end. Your own demise. Right. Yeah. You are funding your own demise. You're funding your grandchildren, your children's demise because you don't like somebody's delivery because the mainstream media has already brainwashed you to believe that. that this guy, oh my God, this billionaire playboy, who cares? JFK was a who cares? I don't care about his delivery. Yeah. But he had America first policies. Our mm-hmm. border was secure. That's what they hate. Yeah. And they can't stand that he loved America. And Israel. So now you are not allowed to criticize mm-hmm. anybody, anybody who's really in power. Right. So when people say the Jews are in power, I'm like, what, what are you talking about? You know who's in power? Barack Obama. That's mm-hmm. right. His third term. Valerie He's Jarrett. Everybody's He's so scared term. to talk yeah. about yeah. it. And the Muslim Brotherhood. There's a oh, connection there. He's in love with the Muslim Brotherhood. He's, he's in love and connected. I mean, look at Rashida Tlaib, Ilhan yeah. Omar, Linda he Sassour. He did all that. Valerie Jarrett. And, and whenever you, you talk about these people and you say- You talk about Jewish students being unsafe on college campuses all yep. across America. Yeah. Obama did that. Yes. Of course he did it. And who signed uh, uh, Title VI to protect Jewish students on campuses? Donald Trump. Donald John Trump. Right. I mean, who, who? Obama is so anti-Semite, it just blows my mind. He's so, like, they hid that picture of him with Farrakhan for his first Years. two ter- right. terms, but it right. leaked out in the third term. Well, wait till you see what's going to come third out in the term. next seven months. Are, are, are you kidding? They always say that, and I mean, it never that's happens. That's why I can't tell you that. This is not a conspiracy theory. I'm not telling you, I'm not a believer that JFK is going to come out of the shadows. Okay, good. And Princess Diana is going to fly oh, yeah, in on a week. I've Listen read to some me. of that shit. Those the next <laughs> seven months will be brutal for the United States of America. Yeah. You couldn't tell the people, you have to show the people. And the people right now are witnessing. When I said to my friends, don't vote for Biden. Why? Because your gas prices is, go- is, uh, your gas price is going to go up. Oh, Siggy, stop it. The borders are going to go- be open and he's going to allow in people who do not love this country. Yeah, you have to be vetted. Mm-hmm. I don't open up my door yeah. and say, everybody come in. I want to know who right. are you? You're coming. Oh, I know you from a friend of mine and you're here for this reason. Oh, you're here to pick up the vacuum. I have to of know course. why you're coming into my front door. Mm-hmm. Right. Who the hell are you to just come into the United States of America and then demand that I'm going to give these people money, gas cards. Um, um, they're giving them um, visa cards mm-hmm. in New York. Everything, and they're asking my, ch- my my kids to leave school so so they could ha- house them there. And it- what's happening in America is the American people had 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 to be shown. They had to be shown. You can't tell somebody you had to be shown. And guess what? That's why I say when people say I don't like Israel, I don't like Jews. There's there. Everyone is going to get a taste of what's coming in the next seven months. I'm sorry, Roseanne. I know okay. it, that, but I have tried sorry. so hard to wake people up to that. Everything oh I've done yeah, is to tell people it's coming, it's but coming, it's coming. that's what Jackson's done. We've done rallies. We go all over the world. Do you know what me, Karen, and Michelle have done? We are out there educating people on the infiltration from within. We're saying to people, please, Jews, Christians, Christians, please unite with us to save the world. Not to save Israel. Israel's saving itself. Right. But what Israel's doing with the radicals, every country's going to have to do. Mm-hmm. Has anybody seen Donald Trump's um, deportation plan? Mm-hmm. It's brilliant. Yeah. He's saying, if you're not in love with America, get out of America. Yeah. If bless. you're here and you're 
free, free Palestine. You don't even know what Palestine is. What are you freeing them from? You should be saying free Gaza from Hamas. Yes. Yeah, exactly. You guys are all backwards. Yes. But I, I stopped caring about people. Is the IDF right now activated? Yes. Yeah. Roseanne, did anybody, did the IDF say they're listening to Biden? No. No, but I get, I get so mad. I'm like, they BB should cut. I mean, he no, pretty much has BB is brilliant cut off all, all uh, dialogue with Biden, which I thought that he was has, good. He has this much dialogue with him. I, I'm glad because he needs to be embarrassed, Biden BB, and Obama, yes. for what they've done, Correct. especially in the UN, to but turn their backs on. I mean, uh, that's turning their back on Christianity as much as it is on Judaism. You mean Judaism. Easter worshippers like Obama? Yeah, called yeah. Them? I mean, in the UN. Don't, they don't care about Christians in the Middle East at no. all. That's what I'm trying to say. So all the Christians in the MAGA movement, you're all saying woke and you're all so, you're in love with the word Mossad. I mean, come on, there's, there's 9 and million. And the cabal. There's if 9 I hear million another, Jews in when Israel. When they do the cabal, and the cabal thing and, and the uh, cartoon. Oh, that's what that I'm not the into. The no, Kazar no, no, Mafia, I, I could smack for that the one. Kazar Mafia, then they're saying, oh, don't worry. We don't We don't think you're the Kazar Mafia. They're really non-Jews who pretend to be Jews. I'm like, so what's on. the point? The point is, let's then all... Then don't say Jews, idiot. Right, then right. don't say Jews because they're not really Jews. You just admitted it. But why can't we just understand that Jews and Christians must unite to save Humanity. Yeah, yeah that's We right. used to know that. That used to be obvious. I know, but right Christian. now, you have to understand, yeah. we do not have control. When Muslim Brotherhood has control over big tech, yes, big pharma, and, and social media, and yes. social media they're going to do right. their messaging. You know, that TikTok is trying to get people to convert to Islam. I yeah, mean, of course. Yeah. come on. You, we don't have control of that. No. So when people say, are you shocked? You know shocked? what I said? You know what? So I said what should happen is all the Jewish women should start wearing burqas because that'll be the fastest way to get them banned. Well, I am, I'm going to agree with you. I'm in agreement It'll with you. It'll get banned That's as the, soon as Jewish women 100%, do it. 100%. As soon as we make it popular, mm -hmm. and, you know, we'd make it really, like, hot, too. We'd make it popular. <laughs> and, you know, some Israeli would come up with something. But, you know, a way to take, you know, I walked into, I went to Michigan, and there's a beautiful um, Chaldean community there. Uh -huh. All Trump supporters. Beautiful. Do you know what they tell me? Do you know what you know wh where all my love comes from? Mom, we got a new package from uh, Diet Smoke. We we the gummies and the weed. We've been hitting that stuff for a long time. You got love. a new love. They recently sent me their most recent product releases. Uh, I love the carts. They're really nice. But I really think that the Strawberry Sky gummies are my new favorite. Not only because Livia is Sky of the. Uh, what Paw do they Patrol. call those? The Paw Patrol. Yeah. But just because. Uh, now, here's the good part. Exclusively for Roseanne Bar Show listeners, Diet Smoke has a special 420 offer. Wow. Use code RB420 at the checkout, and you'll receive four free gifts and 20% off your entire order. You see what I did there? I'll repeat. Use code RB420 at the checkout, New and code, you'll receive... People. Four gifts and 20% off your entire order for 420. And remember, Diet Smoke, for those of you who haven't tried it yet, we talk about them all the time. We love it. They basically are a weed sommelier. Sommelier. They'll help prepare your, um, like they help prepare your wine experience for a wonderful dinner. Yeah. These people will help prepare your relaxation and deep dive of consciousness experience if that's what you want you call them up you'd be like i want to get deep with shit they'll say you need this you say i, I call sleep. them up i need to write some funny shit because yeah. i'm doing a carrie lake fundraiser tonight that's right and they sent you and i'm telling these strawberry sky gummies they're my new favorite uh, mom as always twc the wellness company we we sell the the travel emergency kits the medical emergency kits they they have these kits that are great they have a new one out now Mm -hmm. uh, it's the contagion emergency kit. Um, so smart. Right? Right. I mean, it seems like it's tailored for an outbreak, right? That's at least that's at least what I'm getting. Well, because we know that there will be a next time. Yeah. I mean, let's be serious. There will be a next time, so you should be prepared. This is the only one of its kind. This prescription emergency kit provides you with carefully selected assortment of effective medications for COVID-19 and other respiratory illnesses. You get ivermectin, yeah. hydro... I can never say How it. can you say it? Hydroxychloroquine. 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 Yeah. Z-Pak 
and budesonide. How do you say that? I can't read any budosonide, of this. Budesonide. Budesonide, sure along with a nebulizer, so you can rest easy knowing that you've got emergency meds on hand, along with a guidebook for safe use. It's so smart. It like, is. why wait to the last minute? Make sure your family is covered. Especially when we saw the WEF talking about the next disease the next. X, which whenever they tell you, like, oh, this thing could happen, that means they're, that's what we're going to do. It's already in the pipeline. And that's going to be more, apparently, it's going to be more uh, fucking deadly than COVID. Not that COVID was deadly, but it, it'll actually be deadly this oh time. God. So we have to get this stuff. you got to get ahead of it. And these medications that they sell on this are the medications that actually work. And we know they worked because they weren't allowed to, to give them to you because they wanted to push the vaccine. And now the FDA has had to, since like March 21st or something, they've had to retract all sorts of old tweets and erase them because of medical misinformation. We were right all, all along. All Ivermectin, along. hydrochloroquine. It's like, okay, we killed a bunch of people. Oh, well, erase it. Yeah. Poor people. Oh, well. But out of that, Dr. McCullough, Dr. Drew, other doctors, they have created the wellness company and you can get ahead of it. Yeah, so. we're so lucky that we have like doctors who are rational and have some ethic. Absolutely. Backed by research and endorsed by experts like Dr. Peter McCullough and Dr. Harvey Reich, the wellness company's contagion emergency kit is a must have. Avoid chaos, wait times, and price of a hospital. That's worth and it. And have right. exactly what you need for as low as the cost of a single doctor's visit. Go to twc.health forward slash RB and grab your contagion emergency kit right now. Absolutely. That's twc.help forward slash RB, code RB. It saves you $30 at checkout. The Chaldean community, Iran. Mm -hmm. You know how many messages a day I get from Iran saying, Me too. we pray behind closed doors for Israel to do oh, no, what it I needs know. to do. Yeah, do you know how many messages I get? From people within Israel, which is Gaza mm -hmm. and yes, the West Bank, they say, Siggy, please continue to speak up for Judeo-Christian values. We're not allowed to. You think Hamas really won an election? I mean, guys, you no, think, they didn't. you think, hold on, you think Biden really got 81 million votes? No. He not, campaigned not. from his basement. He no. can't spell mom, dad, or Bob backwards. He doesn't even know where he is. You guys, please. I mean, sometimes it's the stupidity. I have to walk away from it. So when getting back to this, when people say, I'm not for Israel, I'm like, that's, a, that's okay. Yeah, that's like in that. America, you're entitled to your opinion. Yeah. You don't think America needs to give aid to Israel? Hmm. Okay. But guess what? Aid went over yesterday, Roseanne. Mm -hmm. Okay. Aid went over yesterday. You know why? Because, wait, Michelle, what's that line you tell me? The defense line. No. Israel's defense. Oh, Israel is the West's first line of defense. I Absolutely. know. Israel is the West's first line of defense. Absolutely. So all you people that are out there going, I hate Israel, I hate Israel. Israel's fighting for you. Yes. I know. And you're bashing Israel. Yes. You think on October 7th, we sent our children to dance in a peace, peace festival. We were slaughtered. Our women were raped. Even after, after they were dead, they raped them. They burned their bodies alive. They burned families alive. They put a baby in the oven. They beheaded people. They cut off people's genitalia. Mm -hmm. They stuck sharp objects inside women's private parts. Mm -hmm. These people are sick in the head. This is who you want to be your neighbor? Yeah, it is. Go ahead. Yeah, Watch go this. Ahead. Watch this. Make my day. I don't care. Yeah, bring them They're over. your neighbor. Bring it on. Yeah. I can only do what me... Roseanne is doing, yeah. the women of Jugs at me, Michelle and Karen, we're yeah. out there fighting the fight every day. And everybody's like, oh my God, you guys are so obsessed with Trump. No, we believe that Donald Trump is the only man standing between tyranny and the Constitution. It has nothing to do with is. obsession. Yeah. A lot, a lot of people is. believe I know that. that Donald Trump's obsessed with one person. His number one advisor is Melania. Yeah. Everybody wants to, where's Melania? Where's Melania? Don't worry, Melania's in his ear. Melania's brilliant. She speaks five languages. You know the other. You know the only language that the liberals know how to speak. Trump, 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 Trump. Yeah. All day long. And they're brainwashed. All day long. It is total brainwashing. 100%. Only one man was picture. chosen by God. Yeah. I think so, too. I mean, if you say that, people automatically go, oh, you've lost your Who mind. Cares? Yeah, but they're not saying that my anymore. My whole family. Was, they're, they're not saying that My anymore. whole family. My mom is pure Democrat, and she did the whole thing. She Everything her okay. whole life. She's 90. No, but, she's... but you know what she just said? She's 90. And just uh, two weeks ago, she said, 
was it Purim two weeks? No, it was one week. She says, you know what? I am really loving on Trump. She's no. whispering on the phone. I'm really <laughs> looking over. I'm going to blow your mind. Love on Trump. I love her. Yeah. I love that. But now I'm going to blow your mind. What? You see why we have to show the people. Yeah. You couldn't tell them. No, you couldn't tell. So them. when people start talking about Donald Trump and, and, and his presidency, for the four years that he was there, it was to wake the people up to say, hey, there's something not right Do with you, this it, government. I, I can go for that because I'm like, okay, for sure people are say, seeing how one side is never punished or indicted. Right. And he's indicted 91 times for one-tenth of the shit they do right. every day. And where's Jeffrey Epstein's list? Yep. Where, where are the people it? who did horrific things to kids on Epstein's mm -hmm. Island? Mm -hmm. Where are they? They're at Houston's right now uh, ordering a spinach dip. They're enjoying their lives. Mm -hmm. Their side gets to do whatever they want because that is, that is their, their playbook. It's Saul Alinsky's playbook. They're in charge. It is Saul Alinsky. They're it's winning. rules for radicals. It so is. when you have radicals and Muslim Brotherhood together, mm -hmm. they're, that's, they're, what, the, that's what I always say. It's, it's the green. Exactly. Michelle, what do you say? The green, red alliance. I learned... I, the green I, line, I, the red line, all together. I learned everything. Plus, it's communist I learned and everything fascist. From Michelle. It's Nazi and commie and yeah. religion. Right. It's every bad thing all joined together. And then who do you have on our side? It's it, Just remember one thing. Just, re just remember one thing. Israel and the Jewish people have never lost. Mm -hmm. we've, been, we've been persecuted. We have suffered. Sometimes people are like, what were you chosen for? I'm like, I think it was to suffer. But, you know, on the other hand, I wake up every day with such a love for Judaism. I, right. Like, I want to cry. Yep. Because if I had to come back to life, I would only come back as Siggy. And I would only, only come back as a Jew, a Zionist in Israel. I'm so proud that I was born. My father fought in a six-day war. My grandfather died in 1948. In the Israeli Independence War, mm -hmm. my father also joined the U.S. Army and fought the U.S. Army. I'm so proud to have a connection to two of the greatest countries in me the world. Too. Me too. You can't take that away from me. Mm -mm. It don't matter. You could call me a dog, a kike, a this, a that. I don't. You could call me every name in the book. I don't really care. I feel bad for you because you're on the wrong side of history. Yeah. I was going to tell you when in 1948. Well, I was born in '52, and my mom's best friend. She just died. Uh, we went over to see her, but I was only three years old. Dina Cohen was her name. And uh, her mother had escaped to China, uh, you know, by walking out of Germany. But uh, so, you know, a lot of Jews went there. Yes. But um, so she was only like 28 years old. And she's like, uh, I I'm going to go over and join the Israeli army but you know how it was in my family when I was just maybe two they my uncles they were they were all going over there as Americans but they sang this song I'm gonna sing this song because this is what we sang my uncle sang in the house shalom? no they oh. go if your name is AB join the Jewish Navy AB. fight 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 for Palestine mm -hmm. that's what it said all you Jews with noses just come and be like Moses. Fight, fight, fight for Palestine. We called it Palestine. If you go look at 1939, this, the Palestinian Palestine. soccer team was all Jewish stars. Yeah. The propaganda and the lies placed on the only it's Jewish all country. It's all lies. It's all lies. It's all lies. Every single it's all thing lies. is a lie. Apartheid, occupation, it's, of all, a, it's all a lie. But I, but I, but I, but I want to say to the Christians is... You see, I'm the daughter of a Holocaust scholar and survivor. I would not be alive today if a priest did not help my, my, my family, my father's family, right. um, go from Evian, Evian, France, into Switzerland. Mm -hmm. He saved the entire family. Wow. So my father has dedicated his whole life into thanking non-Jews who hid Jews during the war. My father, Dr. Mordechai Paldiel, ran the Righteous Gentile Division of Yad Vashem for 24 years. And my father raised me with a pride. Mm -hmm but also to love my Christian brothers mm -hmm. and sisters. Absolutely. That's what I want to And I'm about. so grateful to every Christian out there that stands up for the Jews in Israel. I'm more proud of you than I am for any liberal Jew. No I'm kidding. I'm sorry, you're probably... 
No, I'll get I, a lot of hate too. for it, but me I'm too. like you. I don't I care mean, about the hate. Too. People say to me, why did you turn off your comments? I said, my comments are turned off for one reason. Because I don't care what anybody thinks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a shit what your comment is. You like me? You're smart. You don't? Go buy a Diet Coke and a, we can put a, a slice of lemon in there and have a nice day. I live a very good life. I don't need to read negative or, uh, comments or positive comments. I put out my shit. I walk away. I put it out. Yeah, if you don't like it, go somewhere else. If you That's don't like I it, feel. don't follow me. Right. But what I'm saying is thank you to the Christians. And I'm begging the Christians not to be brainwashed by the radical left and the communists. We got, we got to join forces. We got to make Judeo-Christian values great again. It's yeah. what Jesus would want. It's what Elohim wants. I want to live in a world where somebody can pray to Allah. Somebody can pray to Jesus. Somebody can pray to Elohim. Then we get together and we have chip sauce and guacamole and yeah. we love. But when one side says the Christian and the Jews do not have a right to exist, yeah. we are going to be martyrs because 72 virgins are waiting for us to annihilate everybody and the world will be world domination. Mm -hmm. Then it's time for us to really wake up and say, hey. That's right. Well, Torah tells us that we, we must fight evil. We Us. can't be tolerant of it. We can't no. look the other way. That's what a lot of Jewish and people became liberal because they're like... And they're sucking up to it. I know because I remember every Jewish family has this at Passover where you have the one kid that stands up and goes, why are we celebrating the Egyptians? Their children were killed. Shut up. <laughs> well, you know what? They all do it because they have compassion, but right. it goes too far. It you can't far. have compassion for the person who's there wants to kill to you. annihilate you and your family. You're but, mentally ill then. But I have to tell you something that another thing that Michelle Harris, the founder of Jexit, told me. When Moses freed the Jews from Israel, from slavery, I'm mm -hmm. sorry, from Egypt, do you know how many percentage of Jews left with Moses? No, I don't know. Only 20%. Yeah, the rest didn't want to leave slavery. Yeah. The liberal Jews. Yeah. They're so com complacent in the Democrat Party. They know it's a demise. They know that, that their grandchildren don't have a future. But it's like they, they, they don't know how to get up and say, like the Fonz, I'm wrong. Right. It's, you know why? We always it's, it's, say that here. We Ziggy, because say of privilege. Because they're in privilege. I, I, I and they're like, okay, well, we can hang out with these bigots. Because they give us a little bit of privilege. Right. We, we're not going to say we're against these bigots because right. then our privilege is gone. I mean, Everything is privilege. The enemy of the Jewish civilization was living in privilege. That's why they didn't want to leave Egypt. That's right. They liked slavery. They liked the system of slavery. They it's didn't want to go. It's crazy. Yeah, they it, said we had food when they were wandering the desert. Oh, like, yeah, we had when food. Moses, we left for yeah. this. When, Mo, when, they, when they got things. let out and they were freed, they were bitching to Moses. What? You brought us out here. At least they had fresh well, fish yeah. over there in Egypt. Yeah. And now we got had fresh fish. What were they doing they when you came back? They didn't have graves in Egypt. Right. You brought us out here to die in the desert. They didn't have graves there. I think Sodom and Amorah, when Moses returned, he said, what? I just went up there and I come back to this, this What are you guys doing? Listen, that's why you're not going to win over all the people. Right. It's not about quantity. It's yeah. about quality. It's and quality. the Jewish people, quality. Yeah. Every place that the Jewish people have left is mm. suffering. Yeah. They're suffering. You want to bring in immigrants that are going to work, that are going to create, that are going to make the neighborhood, the community better. What, what are these people bringing here, these immigrants? Has anybody been to um, um, uh, Michigan, Dearborn, Michigan? I haven't been, but I'm aware. Oh, okay. of, yeah, yeah. I'm, I know what you're yeah. talking about. Yeah. What do they bring? Um, what do they bring? I don't know. But Chaos I was... and hate? Yeah. And well, what is it? Do down hate. with America. Down yeah. with Israel. You're living in the United States of America? Mm -hmm. And you're saying down with America? You've got... I was happy with them, though, when they started going to the school boards, the Dearborn, oh. Michigan parents, yeah, that was the us. Muslims. Well, Muslims and going, are fine. You're not going to teach this crap in our yeah. schools. Of I loved them then because, yeah. you know, they could be allies, too. All Americans should no, no, no. be allies. She's talking about the extremists. I'm not, not, I'm not, not talking about Muslims. the majority of the population. Right. My whole You're talking about religious fundamentals. Yes. I'm talking about radical extremists. Yeah. yeah. Which is and a the radical extremists that are, are 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 tearing down the humanity. Yeah, they are. Yeah. The world has a huge problem and it's not a Jewish one. Mm -mm. You need right. to point and pick out the radical extremists who are calling for hate, killing, murder, infidels, 
Sharia law. What is Sharia law? Has anybody ever done research on what Sharia law is? I think it's child marriage. I, it, what it is is the women women have no rights. Gays have no. It's, it, it's men are allowed to marry and have wives and are allowed to beat. And yeah. you go to a judge and the woman you don't really believe the woman as much as you believe the it's man. What liberals what call uh, no, but it is about child marriage too. Well, yeah. I haven't you know gone that far, but. Like I said in the beginning, the Democrats yeah. love that. Yeah. If you notice, oh yeah, they they're really pushing towards that, yeah. lowering the age of consent. Well, what's so funny they're is all about that. They're know? the ones yeah, talking about all... patriarchy all the time, but Sharia law is patriarchy. Everything it a liberal woman talks about being horrible right, and toxic male. That the is the American that public has not been educated on what really is in this country and what's about to happen. Right. I, I, See, I I've thought up. it for a long time. I'll tell you what. I'm sorry, Jake. Go finish. No, it's just last week with the the Candace thing. So my mom said she was going to slap Shmuley and Candace in the face. It went a little viral. People were upset thinking she wasn't defending Candace. Someone's in the problem with the Christ is king. I definitely want you to talk about that. But just this thing I tried to paint last week is that the liberal Jew and the Israel we're all critical of is the problem. And MAGA and us and those of us that are conservative, we also don't like that liberal Jew. We, we are very critical of them too. They right. think, when, I guarantee when people watch this episode, they're like, oh, Jews. We are just as critical of liberal Jews as you are absolutely. We, we, don't need, like to, we need to call that. Sort. Thank you, thank you. That's what we need to talk about. I think we have to align with any MAGA color, because it's any nation, it's nationality, our, absolutely, any communist. I, we we're don't conservatives. Like, we, don't, we don't like right. Israel is very conservative, very pro-Trump country. If you go there, They're, Israel is pro-Trump, but they do uh, have the loony leftists. Well, there everyone that are has the country. Everybody yeah, has right, loony right, leftists. Like so that's right. what I want to say real quick, and then I'll stop. Everywhere has the loony leftists. Correct. We want to connect with our fellow conservatives. So if MAGA is turning on Israel, that's not good for MAGA. That's not good for conservatives because they're siding with the nut job liberals right. they hate here. That's what we need to tell them. They need to yeah. understand that. They, I think that, that, that the MAGA movement is, is a brilliant movement. And they're uh, 100%. Pretty, pretty much smart people. The they ones who want to believe for... it, you can't control that. You can't control it. Right. Now, I happen to be a fan of Candace Owens. Me too. So are we. We love her. I like Candace Owens. But I, I didn't have. like how she mixed things up too much. Well, because, she did something. Right. And Let's you, explain it because people were mad at you. I, I said you, you, can't, you can't use a religious context when you're speaking in a political way. You can't mix those two. When you're talking about Israel, you can't bring in because of your religion. You can't. Uh, you've stepped over. Uh, right. you, you've gone beyond the pale. Right. So we're saying it's okay to be critical of Israel and the Israeli yeah, government. Yeah, but then don't bring in the religion right. part of it. That's unless a That's a whole different conversation. Right. Right. They cannot be mixed. That makes but sense. Let's, let's, let's look at the other, uh, the other side. Yes. But she knows that I love her, and I just want no, to no, but, correct but, that any right. time that any Christian— Thanks. Bringing in religion when you're discussing Israeli politics, that's not that's good not, ever. That's, that's it's not, not good. the right. It'd be like us do. being critical of the Vatican no, and Candace, moving pedophiles and being like, you know, Christ wasn't real. It's this, I think it, Candace Owens a is a brilliant connection. voice for she America. Is. She, she is. is. Um, I love her. I, I I love Candace Owens, but let's just go to the other side. I always try to understand the other side, except for when they're radicals. Right. I don't really yeah. give a crap about them. There's no right. need. Yeah, that that. But I, if you're an American, you're an American. And you mm -hmm. see your, all this money going to Ukraine, billions and billions of dollars, which we all know is being laundered right back right. into Obama. But that isn't, and, it, and, but we that isn't know, in Israel. Right. right. They're mixing them well, up. Thank you, but that's, that's why you have to understand them. Yeah. They're like, listen. Thank you. That's the listen, next thing I wanted to say. I, 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 uh, because I love the MAGA movement, and I have faith in the MAGA movement, and I understand how, why they're critical of that. Me too. Because if yeah. I wasn't Israeli and I wasn't Jewish, yeah. I would probably say, hey, I don't really understand. Why do we have to give all this money to Ukraine and Israel when we have homeless people here? Absolutely. We have problems here. Right. We have open borders here. So I say I understand that. Me too. What they don't understand is what Israel's doing actually is the, role, the model that every country will be following soon. Every country right. will have to get rid of the radicals because... They'll get rid of you if you don't. They'll, they'll get rid of you and you won't have a country. Yeah. Um, but so I understand what, when they say that. Me too. It does not bother me when people are critical of Israel or Jews. Me either. I don't care. Me either. I know I'm Israel's doing what it needs to do and the Jewish people. There's something very special about the Jewish people. And the ones that stick together, stick together. And the ones who are liberal, who cares? Yeah. Go. They're not real Jews. Well, do we, you're not. What, what are you? What do you say about Israel kind of losing the 
publicity battle and civilian casualties and all this critique. Okay, that's, I don't, that's, that's actually false. That's I'd what like I said. Answer, yes, yes. That's Roseanne. What I said. Roseanne. I know. Oh, okay. I know that. Sitting in a tree. Yes. K I S S I N G. Oh, I'm loving your I said that. I said oh, I that very you. thing this morning. Watch. It's not. It's a lie. If you All, everything they say is watch, a lie. It's a lie. Okay. So if you take, if there's a group of hateful radicals that live here, mm -hmm. and you take them and spread them all over the world, yeah, and then all of a sudden you're going to say anti-Semitism is up. What? Because all the radicals are now living right. in Denmark and Finland and Switzerland and London and France. Yeah, I mean, you go to Michigan. France. I went to Marseille. I went to Nice. Yeah. I mean, I was like, am I in Saudi Arabia? Which no. wouldn't be bad. I, I, I would love to go to Saudi Arabia. I'd no. love it. People go to Dubai. They love it. I'd love to go. Forget about it. Yeah. Anti-Semitism is like, and my father explained this to me, scholar. It's like cancer. It is like cancer. It, it stays dormant for a few years. And then when it comes back, it comes back strong. But yeah. what we can't have is a Jew that's not able to look at cancer in the face and defeat it. Right. That's right. Which is why people are saying, how do you have such chutzpah? Where do you get your balls from? Honey, I don't have a life to live if I don't save Judeo-Christian values. What kind of life do my kids have? That's yeah. right. I don't, I'm not going to have grandchildren. To, I don't even know if I want them living in a world like this. I know, exactly. So people are like, aren't you scared? I said, scared? I'm scared of living in a world you tell and it. having to kiss ass That's to right. Satan. You tell yeah. it. That's right. I have right. no fear. I, 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 I go anywhere and I have no fear because 90% of the world is with us. That's me, what I think. Let me too. repeat that. 90% 90 percent of the I world knows yes. right from wrong. Absolutely. 90% right. of the world is saying, oh, wait a second. On October 7th, if somebody from New York came to New Jersey, opened up my front door, took my kids out of bed, raped them, shot them in the head, burned them alive, stuck a baby in the oven, killed the people next door, killed the grandparents, killed everybody. And then that person went and tried to go hunt down the people who did those bad things. Is that a bad thing? Most people know, no. go Israel. Yeah. Do what you need to do. What you see out there is who's running the media? Yeah, them. The Tell Muslim me. Brotherhood. Thank That's you. what you see. So, of Thank course, you. you're going to see free, free Palestine, down with America and down with Israel. Mm -hmm. Half of those people, they're like, what river, what sea? I don't know. Right. I know. <laughs> I, know I mean, that. they don't even know what they're you know, talking about. The Nile. I saw somebody right. say, yeah, oh, the, Nile. the Nile. I said, do you know in Israel, um, there are two million Arab Israelis living in Israel, Arabs in Israel, who do not get stoned to death. No. They are free. Mm -hmm. They are allowed to vote. They don't mm -hmm. get to Do you know that there are Arabs in the Knesset serving? Mm -hmm. Do you know that there are Arabs serving in the IDF? No, you're, you're, full of, you're full of shit. Yeah. I'm like, you can't talk to these people. So you know what I did? I don't need your comments. I don't need your time. It says in the Bible, show me who your friends are. I'll show you who you are. I surround myself with people. I want to learn from them. I respect them. And they're good. Yeah. I know that if my, my children do something bad, I'm the first person to say, hey, that wasn't right to do. Go apologize and do. These mothers, these radicals are from the time they're born. Yeah. They don't go to school and learn, I love you, you. There's no, no. Barney and Elmo. There's no, no Barney. They put on plays in Philadelphia, well, the Barney radicals. Barney was a pedo, did you know that? Oh, yeah. He the, got the, busted, uh, All those. Uh, and Elmo, so, too. But anyway. You're, Disney, I mean, that's yeah, a whole other teaching, show. That's a, yeah, that's another. Right. You go when they're, you go to Philadelphia and a radical school there, they put on plays and you see how to kill a Jew. Yeah. From the age of three. Yeah. You can't blame this child that was teach. Jews are dogs. Jews are mean. Yeah. Jews are bad. Then they grow up and guess what they want to be? Martyrs. Yeah. yeah. Why? Somebody said to them, hey, 72 virgins are going to be waiting for you on the other side. I mean. Sounds great. It, it, you, I, when I they say, don't tell them that they're not the best looking. Yeah, they're all big fans. Yeah. <laughs> they don't say to make that they're all disgusts with a bag <laughs> of Doritos sitting on a couch Dude. and they're all 900 freaking tell pounds. Tell them that, oh, we win. I don't know, but, and then, they, and then you see them and they're like, you're ugly, you're a Jew, you have a big nose, you're yeah. this, you're that, you're yeah. that. I'm like, what? where is this hate coming from? You have A lot to of the people I, I saw, this was touching to me, that I saw uh, women in the IDF they were saying part of what drove them was the love for the Arab woman, that mm -hmm. they were freeing her from Hamas. Of course. Of yes. course that's, that's part why, of it. That's what we Just want. Just so you know, and no one will tell you this, but behind the scenes, Abraham Accords. I Donald was so Trump, involved. Jared I was so Kushner, involved, yes. Brilliance of Jared Kushner, by the way. Mm -hmm. Brilliance of Donald J. Trump. But what I'm saying is, 
you think that the modern, the moderate, the modern Arab countries, yeah, you think that they're on the side of Hamas or Israel? Hamas. Well, right now they assume. have to, like Saudi Arabia pulled back. They have. They can't Hamas. say anything in the front. No. But behind the scenes, they understand that these radicals, listen, the radicals are not doing a great job for the Arab world. Mm-hmm. No, they're and destroying the Arabs, that too. Look what they did in Dubai. And look at, so, yeah. they're, they want to advance. You know that in, in, in Dubai, there's a synagogue. They, they're yes. dying to, to, to say, hey, we want to be up to date with technology. We, yes. want, we want the future generation to have a future. They don't want any of this crap. Right. So behind closed doors, there are more people. I think so, too. I think so. 90% of the world, Who like are you said. For Israel yes. and against and when I say this, in the Arab world, the radicalized yeah. extremists. We always have to say that. It should be you known. Have, but I understand that, but people think, well, yeah. what do you mean? You, you know, I don't mean all, I, I'm all not going to sit Arab here and say, people. okay, my best friend is um, from Iraq. Yeah. I, my whole family is from Iraq. My, yeah. my grandparents didn't speak a lick of Hebrew. They only spoke Arabic. Like, I have to go prove myself that I'm a yeah. good human being, and I love Christian Arabs, and I love yeah. Arabs who love Israel. I'm against radical extremists. Me too. Right. But I have to keep on saying that because people are so stupid. They're brainwashed. They're manipulated. They have to know too, like for me, my whole thing of writing that tweet was because I was talking to journalists in Iran and I was in Israel for that forum that was what, seven, eight years ago. I don't know how many years, but we were all, um, you know, you know, studying there. And uh, we had our cell phones, and ring, 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 our cell phones rang. And the one rabbi answered his cell phone. We don't know how they got our numbers or nothing, but it's like, hello, and it was all our cell phones ring. And it's like, we're calling you from Iran. Oh, my God, I have chills. It was like this. This is what was my moment. And they said, we just want you to know that we love you. We love the Jewish people. We love the Israeli people. We're not like our government. And we're, I'm like, how'd they get our number and stuff? They go, we just want you to know. So we started talking to those journalists there. And they were telling us, oh, so many things. And that's what got me into the whole speaking to journalists in Iran. But they were saying like, they were telling us like grassroots stuff. And one of the real interesting things for Christian listeners um, was how many people are in, in mass leaving uh, Islam and converting to Christianity there you go. in You're Iran not that. and in China. Mm-hmm. It's like a mass Exodus. groundswell yeah. of uh, people changing their minds for Western values. Yes. Think about that. So now going back to why it's important for yeah. people like Candace Owens and right. other MAGA brilliant, you know, influencers and, and our movement to understand why that money, Ukraine and the Israeli money, Not is two same. separate entities. Yes. One is being used as laundry to come right back into the bad people's pocket. Right. And the other one is used to save humanity. Yeah. Yeah. There is so, no way yeah. got connected. To them. They don't get it. That's so what I wanted when you somebody to say. comes you. somebody who I respect and love and I've always loved Candace Owen. She doesn't know. Why isn't anybody taking her to Israel? Why isn't the well, Israeli... She's, she's gone, but, you know, like I always say, you'll love this. I say Israel has everything good. They do everything good. Their PR department sucks. Yeah. Israel's PR sucks. They're liberals. They're, they, they, uh, you can't yeah, find yeah. anybody in media who isn't liberal. I, I, we, we, that's we, the problem. It's a problem, and that's why the people think, oh, anti-Semitism is such a... No, anti-Semitism is dormant. It always comes out. Yeah. You got to look at it and you got to fight it every time. Absolutely. You know what I say? They're all listening to the wrong Jews. That's Everyone has to listen because to the right, right Jews. The right and Jews don't have a platform. They, well, I know they, they took it us. away from us. Right. They do. But, you know, that, that's the right. whole problem. Yep. Mm-hmm. We're not, like I'm still, they're still shadow banning me on X. And I am noticing. And you too. Anytime you're like really... There for idea for anything Jewish or Israeli. Yeah. Well, you you're put in channel ban today, yes. mm-hmm. right now, still. Well, Elon Musk should be listening to this, and Elon I hope Musk he has, does. I, he's got to help us him every day. He loves Israel, and you, he, so you're not getting through to him. So somebody needs to get he's through to him. He's allowing way too many anti-Semitic things to yes. go under the guise of saying, right, you know, right. But he he will a, fix that. He's another good one. He's another good one. Very very grateful to Elon Musk. Um, for everything that's happened after October 7th and, 
and we we we're now we now have a platform on on Twitter. We do not. I'm shadow banned on Instagram. Mm-hmm. I'm shadow banned on Facebook. People don't see my posts. Yeah. Um. Sometimes you know the stuff. My Instagram is savage. Yeah. I love it. I go on it all day long just to like give myself props. Yeah. Like, Siggy, you are so that. funny. <laughs> Siggy, that's a that good too. one. I, I love it. Too. I look at my <laughs> husband. He goes, "Honey, I love you so much." You know, maybe that one was a little. I mean, I just oh. say it like it is. I think it's entertaining. But everybody calls me up and they go, I can't find you. Yeah. I can't find you. Yeah, of Same course. Here. Elon lets it on. He lets everything on. I, I like that he's, I mean, I disagree with you on, I don't, I like that he lets all conversations happen. But they I don't never want correct edit. anything any Democrat says. Well, he, he started to, Community Notes started to when he I, took I over. wrote that every day, how but come you're, you're not see. correcting this? Right. This is a lie. You know it's a lie. Why right. are you not Good. correcting this? Yeah. And then anything comes from Hamas, I'm like, this is a lie. Why right. are you allowing? You're not right. correcting. There's no hmm. Community Notes. Well, Zan, I would like so to I'm thank more you. banned. I would like to thank you on the behalf of Jewish people and humanity. Kola kavod. You know what kola kavod yes, is? Yes, I do. What's kola that? kavod lach. What's that? To have the tenacity. Kola kavod is congrats. Kola kavod. Mazel tov. Kola kavod. Congratulations for having mm. the tenacity, the drive to stand up there and they try to beat you down and beat you down and beat you down. Now, I did some shit show that I can't even believe people watch. You had the number one show on TV. Twice. You are an icon. You're a legend. You are some, a force to be reckoned with. And the fact that you use... In, Look, look, I don't need it. You don't need it. The fact that you use your time to do this, I want to say, thank you. You're very welcome. You know, my grandma did it when I was a little girl. She used to have red nails like yours. She'd sit there and she had a radio. She'd do her red nails. We were in Salt Lake and Call Radio was the talk show everybody listened to on the radio. She had her little black phone there and a very heavy Lithuanian accent. And they'd go off on the Jews, you know, and she'd pick up the phone, would do in her nails, put the put the polish yeah. thing back in, call up. They knew her number. They put right. her through Mrs. Davis. Right. It's Mrs. Davis on the line. Well, the Jewish people, mm-hmm. she'd tell them about Torah. Every, she always correct it the was, Mormon people because, every day, all day, and it's, that's it's, me It's now. a shame. It's the brainwashing. Because deep inside, everybody should want a Jew to be their next door neighbor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I mean, seriously, the Jews peaceful? make things happen. Am I right? I just said Jews they make create. things happen. Christian While the Jew. other side hates, yeah. we love and create. Yeah, everything is about love and creating to be a Jew. My mother a real always Jew, just said, not, the, not the lefty Jews. Yeah, you know, my mother always said, "Educate yourself." Siggy, yeah. more than five friends, you have too much. A man's rejection is God's protection. Mm-hmm. Siggy, if he doesn't call you on Wednesday, he's not going to see you on Saturday. Yeah, India. Siggy, do you know your worth? You know your people's worth? You know your country's worth? Stand up. Walk in a room with your head up. Don't. It's, 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 it's soup for your heart. Yeah. You know? Sure. To, have a Jew- Jew- to have a Jewish friend, to have Jewish people in your life, it, mm-hmm. to go to, Jew- to, to see a Jewish tradition, it's a beautiful thing. It's like, my Italian friends, my, my Latin friends. It's yeah. a beautiful thing. It's all about familia. Every, every people has a particular flavor. Right. And it really tastes good when it's nicely mixed but preserved so that it doesn't taste like a big bluff. Exactly. Well said. Right? Yeah. Culture is good. That. Immersion. Yes. Yeah. Well said. And, and, and listen, we all, we're all in this fight together. This is we not are. a Jewish fight, ladies right. and gentlemen. It's Muslim, it Christian, is not a Jewish, Jewish, Jewish fight. If you are Christian... They're really after you. You're 2.2 billion. We're yeah. 15 million in the world. We're the canary in the coal mine. Because we're easiest to capture. We're the easiest because we, we don't have a, a platform of 2 billion. Mm-hmm. Of course, you see all this hate and you're like, okay, well, there are a lot of people. We're not. Yeah. But the stuff that comes out of our mouth, worthwhile. Yeah. We don't need but to- you know what it is, too, is turn every, every group against its own self that that's where we're we're suffering right now is against our own people the black people they're suffering against their own too yes we're all in like turmoil trying to take each other down to say which will be the one that's left to speak for the rest Mm -hmm. okay so we don't want we don't want the liberals liberals, they don't know anything about they don't know anything about Torah or Judaism at all they're They're done done. they're the problem it's a left first right issue they're done they're done. I hope so. They're done. I, I so. said to my daughter, she's a liberal. She's queen of them. And uh, I have three daughters. They're all very liberal. I'm like, where did I go wrong? But anyway, I that's how I was for a long time. But I said, well, what do you think of whether they're targeting the Jewish people? And I wanted to slap myself because she says to me, she's 50. She says to me, well, I can't be 
uh, concerned about 1% of the world's population when uh, 99% are suffering because of that 1%. You know, total communist horseshit. And I'm like, but that, but you know, you're part of that 1% right. that everybody, so I'm like, you know what? I'm not leaving you any of my money yeah, because but that, but that you're a mean, communist. But that, but I'm, 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 you're a communist, and so I'm well, not going to well, leave you my I'm money. Not, I'm not understanding what she said. So she's it's 99% yeah. is bad, and 1% is good. No, she's, she's saying the 1% controls the 99%. But how can people really think that the 1% controls if the media is on their side, big tech is on their side, right. big pharma is on their side, yeah. Iran is still getting money now, right. Right. And, and pay for slay is still going on. If and the UN and the UN controls the UN it all. and UNRWA. I mean, uh, no, she, yeah. my sister's biggest... right. She just doesn't understand. She's part of the one percent. The left is the one percent. It's not. It's not billionaires versus the rest yeah, of us. The, it's the yeah, because elitist. she's got it exact backwards. Yeah, yeah she's they got don't know okay. they're the establishment. We okay. say this every week on the show. The left doesn't realize that they're the establishment. They still think they're the victim, just like how they think Muslims are the victim in yeah, Israel. Right. They think white people are in charge, and they every think they think Israelis are white. Jews oppress two billion. That's what they think. Yeah, but when they say Israeli people are white, that's all they think. That drives me out of my but, friggin' but that's mind. What I said, because they've been brainwashed. Really uneducated. Of course, they're uneducated. They're liberals. Like what? I mean, if they were educated. They wouldn't be liberals. But that's what the thing. They're like, but oh, it's the establishment it's is taking racism. advantage of okay. the victim. It's American but, racism. But I want you to go to sleep. Smiling so the Palestinians are the victim in their mind, and the Israelis is the white colonizers. That's why they're triggered. When you go to sleep, just know that we are eighty percent, and they're twenty. One hundred percent. But no. they just own all that stuff. They do. They're the establishment, and they think they're the victim. We're eighty percent, which is why they're so scary. They think they're the victim. We're eighty percent. I want you to know, I had the privilege of going to five rallies with President Trump, traveling mm -hmm. on Air Force Trump. Um, Trump Force One. Get us on there. Please. What? <laughs> Trump Force One? Yeah. Really? President Trump loves Roseanne Barr. I, me? I would think so. I got we can't get him on this damn yeah. show. Oh, my Let's God. I barely could yeah. let go. Oh, my He's God. He's like, get off me. No, I didn't. No. I but I was like, I love you. you. I love you. Um, I, I want, want you to know here. one thing. And this is the most unbelievable thing. So when the plane lands, you see, this is, it will give you chills. There's about a 72 cars. Entourage. Ambulances, SWAT, in the air. Woo, woo. Motorcycle, they shut down all highways. You're going to a rally. Let's pick, pick in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. 30 minutes out, the streets are lined. People, no teeth, yes. whatever it is. Young families, <laughs> no. People, beautiful families. Yeah. Christian, all Jewish, people. black, white, yellow, brown. Muslim. Everybody, you see people coming out. Everywhere we go, 30 minutes out, yeah. they line up. They well, know that he is the last thing. Stand, he's, he's the only person that could save this yeah. country. Europe regrets ever letting in immigrants. Europe is, Europe is a mess. Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's a mess. The crime, the rape, yeah. the, it, so it's horrible. And for years, they've yeah. done nothing about any of Cultural that. Cultural enrichment. That's yeah. what they called it. Now they're and Richard, getting raped. They thought it was, it was going to jack up the economy. It didn't do anything for the economy. They're all suffering. America, and that's why I believe, you know, things that Donald Trump was definitely chosen for, for such a time as this. So you're optimistic about 2024? Well, she's saying oh. the next well, seven months are going to I'm letting be bad. you know He's gonna we're win. taking America back. Excellent. Israel is not stopping. Great. I'm letting you know Judeo Christian values are coming back stronger than ever. God's coming. We're it taking Hollywood like done. We're, we're taking, we're, everything is coming up. It's like a zit. You could sit there and play with it. We've been playing with the zit for four years. It's about to pop. Okay. It's about to pop. I hope so. It's about to pop. Listen, Diddy's now in the news. Yeah. The next day, but, but it's, it's drip. It's drip. It's drip. You can't sit down a person and say, everybody that you worship is really, I mean. A monster. A monster behind yeah. closed doors. Yeah. You can't say that to people. People are going to be like, I say it all the time. You can't. No, no, but I'm just saying, but for the normal person, it's a little bit, a little bit, a little you bit. You have to show for, them. for somebody who doesn't have money, gas really affects them. Yeah. For, for a lot of people, going to the supermarket, having uh, your supermarket bill go from $100 to $350, it's a big you. deal. Yeah. For some people, open borders and crime and fentanyl and rape and the underwear tree on the border and what they see what they're doing to young children, yeah. children. it's enough for them to say, hey, I'm no longer part of this demon party. Yeah. It's not the party of JFK. No. For everybody, it's something different. Mm. Yeah. New York right now? 
New Yorkers, they don't recognize their city. Yeah. The other day I put up a video on Instagram. It went viral. People are being punched in the face. Women. <laughs> yeah. Women! You're just standing there on the phone with your mom. My, 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 my girlfriend calls me up hysterically crying. Her daughter was in the hospital. Knocked out. Yeah. She was just on the phone. Nothing. Yeah. Got What's what going on? For. But when, when, when you're in a blue state and people are saying, okay, wait a second. I elected this guy yeah. and he's letting them out right away. They won't so do it. So criminals though. are going to do it over and over again. Insanity is repeating the same mistakes. So why do I keep voting for these jackasses? You know what? I'm, I, just, I, I mean, listen, Michael Rappaport. Brilliant actor. I saw yeah, that. Yeah, he really switched. Look up. at me. Well, True course. romance, one of my favorite films. Yeah, no, he was the one of the people one I despise the most. One of the most talented actors. Absolutely, but he's been nuts the last few years. He's starting to wake up. Yeah. I was really proud to no, see that. No, he's really woke up. Yeah. He yeah. went over there So people to are starting to wake up little by little. So you think in the next seven months, cut to, you think everybody's going to be awake and it's going to be like, I think the let's next seven go. Months, I think September, October are going to be brutal. Yeah, I do too. I do too. Because, and what do you, you mean know by what? that? He's going to win. So let me, I, I got to explain it to you the yeah. way that it's going to make sense to the viewers. Okay. okay. If you know that you're getting in trouble. Yeah. I just went away and my kids had a party yeah. in the house mm -hmm. and I'm on my way back. Yeah. And they know they are in trouble. They're going to fight tooth. And, I mean, they're going to fight tooth and nail. They're going to try to get the stains out of the carpeting. They're going to try their best mm -hmm. or, or if you have really bad kids, they'll burn the house down. Yeah, yeah that's true. Okay. That's what they're yeah. doing. They know, the Democrat Party knows they're done. I think so. Too. That's why they know that their voters. voters are now the radical left. You know yep. who's voting Democrat? Well, Farrakhan, Rashida Tlaib, Linda Sassour, mm -hmm. Muslim mm -hmm. Brotherhood, um, Jihad, um, communist radicals. Uh, come on, that's who's voting there. Yeah. They know they're done, but they're not going to go away and say, you know what? Fair and square, we lost. No, they're importing more voters. They're trying to get uh, okay. immigrants and to vote. And then at the end, when they... All the voters that they import, yeah. nothing is going to stop the red wave. Nothing's going to stop the landslide. So. Americans are awake, and Americans are not going to put up with this. Well, They're I think we up won the last two elections. Do you think that we're going to get rid of the uh, machines? The voting machines, she means. Voting machines, you think we're going to? I think that a lot of ele election integrity laws are already in place that you, mm -hmm. no one's reporting to you. Um, a lot of them are being cleaned up, but in the states that they're not. Democrat states, of course. It's in the election matters in six states. And, and um, those are all Democrat states, though. I understand. The machine is... It, 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 That's it what is, I'm worried about. Well, right. That's how they stole it, because Trump beat Biden yeah, without but, question. Yeah, but they stole it because they had, they had, a, they had a way. They had COVID. Yeah. They, they stopped Mail at 12 o'clock. We all went to sleep. Ways. Of course. We were all happy. And at 2, 3 in the morning, yeah. the water pipe broke. The, toilet. the toilets yeah. broke. The no, trucks we talked, came of course. in. It's all bullshit. The people were... Uh, the video. You don't think they're going to do that again, though? We got it all. You, no. You're confident there because they're definitely going to cheat again. Oh, no, no, no. I, I didn't say. It. I didn't say that they're not going to cheat again. I think they're not going to. They they don't win. have the master plan that they did the first time. It's going to be very, okay. very hard. I hope you're. So right. let's say the first time they needed in one county fifty thousand. Mm -hmm. They're going to need. Yeah. Three hundred and fifty thousand. Okay. It, it, listen to me. Everybody We've who has to make the one single brain well. cell knows. America is standing on one foot right now. Yeah. We've got to beg the evangelicals to get out and vote. We, and yes. the there's Jewish, please, Jewish please. conservatives have to put up money yes. to Think go get children. the evangelical old yes. folks to yes. get to the polls. We have to let yes. them know Genesis. We have to help them. I will bless those who bless Israel and I will curse those who curse Israel. We must. There are 150. Now, how many evangelicals, Michelle? 100 million evangelicals who. Please, please, if we could get 30%, 50%, please go out there and vote. Vote Bible. Vote down. Just vote Bible. Yeah. Vote for Judeo-Christian values. And um, we've got to get volunteer, kids that volunteer to help them get to the polls. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Well. Well, they could save America then. Uh, evangelicals so can great. save America. Yeah. Well, they anyone not Israel voting. And, and, that's why, and, and that's why when we talk about liberal Jews. Yeah. I hate liberal Jews. Why? But who cares? Yeah. Watch. What percentage? Are but they... we pray that they would get the light and wake up. They're not going. That's do, why we right? do it. But yeah. I'm just saying, you know They're who's winning? The evangelicals in Latin America. 56.3 million. Yeah. You will not meet anybody, anybody who's from Latin descent that doesn't have a brother, an uncle, or a sister that, that, that has experienced communism. Right. Yeah. They're yeah. Trumpers. They're smart. 100%. They're all about family and Judeo-Christian values. I thought it would values. be great if 100%. all the illegal immigrants 
end up voting for Trump. You know what? Yeah. I thought we should start. Well, then they wouldn't be them bringing them too. in here. It's like because you know they're going to screw yeah. them over. Oh, yeah. Bringing them here to sleep in the streets. One hundred percent, they're pissed already that they're yeah. not getting more money. Yeah. It's a, what's happening in America is a disgrace. And you know what the funny thing is? He's going to clean it up very, very fast. I can't wait. Roseanne, well, he's got everything in place already. He's going to clean it up very, very fast. And it's not going to be like the first time around. Now he knows who the enemies are, who the sleeper cells were. He, he, this man is so sharp. He's so focused. Just listening to him. Just talking to him about nothing. I mean, forget about the fact that he loves music. Mm -hmm. he's, he's a music guy. He loves music. Yeah, he I've loves seen him on the iPad. Guns and Roses, November Rain. I yeah. mean, he'll watch that over and over again. He <laughs> loves Sade. He, he, he loves um, he loves um, Phantom of the Opera. Everybody knows, and James Brown and Elvis. But when he speaks and he's asking you a question, the man already knows the answer. Mm -hmm. All well, right. Well, Trump, well, we twenty twenty four. We just pray and add some extra energy to him and to. All the evangelicals out there, Please. Israel's counting That's on what we you. Need to focus the human on. race is counting on you. The human race is don't counting on you. Don't just be sitting there and giving up. Nobody, yeah. be, don't be sitting no, there. No, don't give up. up because get stronger. Yeah, we're more powerful when we're united yes. than ever. Yes. If we would stop hating on each other and worrying about the one percent controlling yeah. the Mossad and the Kazarian and the non—they're not really Jew stop it right that vote Bible. Make Judeo-Christian values great again. That's it. Just concentrate on that. You don't have to like Jews. You don't have to like Israel. You don't have to like this. You don't have to like that. It's okay. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. But stop with the brainwashing and understand that you were born for such a time as this. We are living in biblical times. Yeah, we are. And good wins and good will win. Evil is out there right now dancing because evil owns social media. Yeah. It owns. They're dancing. They're doing this. They're saying it's getting hot in here. They're having a great time until it all ends when we unite. Yes. That's it. Well said. Thank that you, Siggy. That is what it says, isn't it? Amen. I love you. I love so you more. Much, and I am so glad that you came on my show. I'm so grateful. And you know, Thank we're you. gonna keep going. We're, we're gonna, going all the way. We're going all, all the way. The way. <laughs> We don't have a choice. No, None. we don't have a choice. I'm so I'm so excited to meet a like mind, a sister. It's nice, Me a too. sister, and 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 a listen. We're we're I want to say savage, and we got to bring over. We got to we have other sisters, Candace Owens, all these right. other. That's they right. have to understand that um, soulmates. Yep, soulmates. All right, thank Somebody you. Somebody said. You heard jihad, but you, you better hear a new word, juhad. Yeah, <laughs> juhad. I like that. That's <laughs> juhad. Yeah, right? I love that. All right, better juhad. hear it. So RB Legs Gold. You know, we went to new gold company some time ago. And, oh, I'll do some. Yeah, uh, we'll just, I'll just shoot the shit with you. So we went to this other gold company. We left our other one. I, everything was fine with the other one. It's no bad talking, but... Yeah, we, we, we don't need to say anything. No, no, everything's shitty fine. Shitty about just because they weren't going to pay us no decent No, they were money. paying us really well. It's oh, just, they were? Oh, okay. We wanted, we wanted... We wanted real gold, not gold that had been stepped on like street cocaine. No, I wanted to be able to to track sales. Oh, you wanted to Because I'm a Jew, and Jews, we sell gold. Well, like, Jews, we love the gold, and we love to sell the gold. So I, But we love our customers to be happy because then they'll return to us. Right. Not like a lot of these Jews that don't care if their customers come back. I right. don't know if there are any like that. They're all like but that. But we like to have our customers return because they're happy. Am I right? Absolutely. And <laughs> also, I say this all the time. The products we push on the show, like if you really look at our sponsors, aside from like weed and stuff on, mm -hmm, on occasion. But that makes us happy. Weed. It does make you happy. But it is we stuff to protect We use our you. actual products and we we're do. not selling stuff that we don't believe in. We not only use them, they're important. I mean, I know. I wish we could get prepping. a Chardonnay company to support us. Well, like, yeah. I don't know why they don't. Right? Because yeah. I, I don't know either. That's a really, I'm going to put out for mm -hmm. sponsors. But anyway. We went to a new gold company. You have your own landing page. And what I like about this company is that when I called them and said, hey, you know, because they say we're not converting enough because they're pushing product, right? But I said, when you go to your website, you're trying to sell people like their entire retirement fund, which is just too much to ask for a lot of people. That's Some too people, much. Well, for, if you want to do that, you should. You should transfer into gold and silver. It's a better yeah, way to protect your Yeah, if you've done a world. lot of research, uh, yeah. you know, over time, not just one. 
hearing one or two things. Nobody Absolutely. wants to risk that much. No, and it's like, I, I mean, I bought I bought like a hundred dollars worth of silver last week. I just mm -hmm. I just bought it. I thought yeah. it would be cool. I don't think it's going to protect my wealth or anything, but you know, from from as little as just a couple bucks to your whole IRA, like. That's the the beauty of gold and silver. You can do as much as you want. So because I because they them, never lose their value, no. unlike a dollar paper money. Absolutely. You know, when Aton lived with us, my grandson, my boyfriend Johnny took him down and said, you know, with your paycheck that you get from the pizza place you're working at, yeah, you should always uh, put a percentage into buying silver coins. Absolutely. He did, and then he moved out. And what did we find in his top drawer after he left? Silver coins. Yeah, his silver coins, dirty underwear, and dried up donuts that he was hiding in Ugh. there. Did you keep the silver at least? Of course. Good. See, it's transferred. And it already went up three times. Yeah. He didn't even know. No, and don't give it to him either. He I'm not deserve. going to. But just, I, I just want to say this company, what I'm trying to say is rblikesgold.com, if you go to the landing page, they've tailored their business plan for our listeners. I said they don't want to all fucking retire. They want to buy $15 worth of gold. They've changed it. So go to RBLikesGold.com. They want to grow in their us. trust. Yeah. They're, they're not just going to put everything down the first day. No, they'll sell you everything. And also just go buy gold and silver. It's just smart. It's smart. It is smart. Especially with the dollar crashing, everything crypto. Like we see it on the news. Like mm -hmm. you're going to want some form of currency that will work when other currencies won't, shall we I say. mean, you could hoard like 200 or 300 chickens to yeah. trade eggs or meat for somebody. But... Uh, that's not practical in the city. It is, but if you have uh, silver, you can buy someone's chicken in the, in right? the post-apocalypse world. That's people, what it is. People will trade silver and gold. That's where silver and gold, that's a currency. That's right. what, when I went to the dollar, it all went to shit. So rblegsgold.com. It also supports us if you want to help support the podcast. That is one of the best ways to do it. That's correct. Nina, 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 Nina.